Hi, I'm Tim, Customer Evangelist at Active Campaign. I'm here with my colleagues Molly and Gabby, and we have questions from our community that we're going to answer. Hello, Molly. What is our first question today? Hey, Tim. Our first question is from a customer who asks, how would you email a 400,000 contact email list? What's the right way to segment them so that you don't email them all at once? Gabby actually got a question about this same topic. So Gabby, what did you find? Thanks, Molly. One of our customers asks, how do you prefer to send emails only to contacts who meet specific conditions? Do you create multiple lists? Do you use segments? How do you do it? These are great questions. Whether your list is 400 or 400,000, blasting that entire list with the exact same email isn't very effective. Without segmentation, you're sending the same emails to everyone. Some people click and some wonder why you're even emailing them in the first place. Because if the email is too specific, you're gambling on who it might resonate with. But if it's too broad, why will people even care? You run the risk of annoying the very people you want to be connecting with, your customers. With segmentation, you send the right message to the right person. They engage with your messages because they're interested and your marketing feels more personal to them. So what is segmentation? Segmentation is the act of grouping your contacts into segments. A segment is a group of contacts organized by information about the contact. For example, pages they visit, information from integrations, links clicked, or emails they open. Each segment contains contacts that share similar characteristics or behaviors. The purpose of segmentation is to send people relevant messages that genuinely interest them based on the data you've collected. When contacts receive messages that are relevant to them, they're more likely to pay attention to your campaigns. Behavior-based segmentation is key because when you segment by behavior, you're not only listening to what your customers are telling you, you're monitoring what they actually do. This makes it possible for you to send them the right information at the right time for as long as they're your customer. Let's look at an example. A boutique store carries clothing, stationery, and home decor. They have a brick and mortar location and they also sell products online. We can segment by location or geography. Are they local? Are they visiting the store? Or do they primarily shop online? We can segment by customer behaviors like which product pages they're visiting on the store website. Demographics data can help target the right audience. Maybe younger customers are more interested in apparel while older customers are interested in home decor. We can also segment by what products customers are actually buying. This data can be pulled in via an integration with your online store. Finally, we can segment contacts into customers and prospects. You'll market differently to a returning customer than you would a first-time shopper. These various segments of contacts will each respond to different messaging. Some may want content about home decor. Local contacts may be interested in an in-person event at the brick and mortar location. And everyone loves a coupon, but you may want to run a promotion on a particular product rather than for the whole store. With the right messaging to the right group of people at the right time, you can reach your target audience when they are most likely to listen. All right, those were the questions from our community that we were going to answer, and we did. Molly, Gabby, thank you both for joining me today. Thanks, Tim. Thanks so much, Tim, and thank you for helping our customers get the answers they're looking for. And thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next time when we have more questions from our community that we're going to answer.